Hello everyone, Alan here, ready to do my second video for the YouTube channel. And I'm going to do a simple strainer pour. Uh, got just a simple dollar store strainer. I've poured my white base on, no silicone on the base, on a 12 by 12 canvas and I'm going to put the strainer in the center. I've already checked the uh, canvas to make sure everything was level, all the push pins are in, and the choice of colors I'm going to do is I'm going to go with Artist Loft Naples Yellow, Creative Inspirations Bright Red, Lucas Van, Bright, Van Dyke Brown, Lucas Yellow Ochre, Soho Azo Deep Red, Red Deep, and then just a standard black. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to go with my darker color on the outside first with the white base and I'm just going to do one ring around the uh, around the strainer I follow with the creative inspirations bright red trying to go with some fall colors here because it's cold and miserable here in North Carolina tonight next the artist laugh Naples yellow Then I'm going to go with the black. Followed by the Soho Azo Red. And then the Lucas Yellow Ochre. And we're starting to see a little paint go out right now. Just allowing it to come out the sides and the bottom of the strainer. And starting to see the outer bands forming, kind of like the hurricane. And I'm going to go with that same pattern again, Lucas Van Dyke Brown. Followed by the Creative Inspirations Bright Red. Then the Artist Laughs Naples Yellow. For those of you who have not tried this, um, it's a little tricky. Uh, putting the uh, paints in is not a problem. It's when the paints have dissipated through the strainer and you're ready to lift the strainer and then start stretching it is when it gets, uh, gets a little tricky. Have a lot of paint. I'm going to go ahead and add a little more in there. Same cycle of colors the brown first, red second, then the yellow. red and the Lucas yellow or ochre now 
those of you that have watched my first video noticed uh, with the gadget that Nate had brought for me uh, the filter that the uh, paint just kind of rushed out onto the canvas and kind of scared me a little kind of um, took me by surprise so I'm being a little trying to be a little more careful on the amount of paint that I'm using I go with that cycle one more time. Go with a little more paint. Try to push the paint out of the strainer. Anybody that's watched me on videos before knows I love red. I'm getting a, uh, we're getting some movement in the paint right now. It's dissipating and spreading out. I think I'm going to go with one more round of the same color order. Brown first. Artisloff yellow. Followed by the black. The Soho Azo deep red. And finishing up with the Lucas yellow ochre. looks like a multi-layer peacock right now just allowing the paint to settle spread out getting to that point of no return I'm gonna go ahead and lift the strainer allowing the paint to come out now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch it just a little what I'm gonna to try to do is go from side to side actually corner to corner uh, without trying to lose too much of the shape but still bringing it out to the edges the secret to the strainer pour is slow and deliberate and even distribution of the paint and always when you're going to bring it back to the other two corners make sure you bring your paint back to the center of the canvas For those of you that celebrate Thanksgiving next week, uh, I may have got your turkey for you. And I stated in the beginning I was looking to try to go with something with fall colors uh, from those that 
uh, have trees. Nate, I feel sorry for you because you said you don't have trees. Uh, a lot of our leaves are turning these colors right now. Bring that paint back to the center. And then I'm going to just stretch it to the other corners. Now I like to leave a little white on the edges. Um, it, it's usually how the mood strikes me. Sometimes I like to run everything right over the edge, but I think it'll look better leaving some of the white on the edges this time. stretching it got some crazy cells popping up in the middle and we're gonna take it to the last or back to the corners again Maybe a little more stretch on this end A lot of your finished product is going to uh, be dependent on your color choice. So be careful to pay attention to your color wheel. Uh, as my instructor has informed me to pay attention to the color wheel. As you all know, Christina Welch uh, has been tutoring me. My mentor is gone. So now I have my tutor. And I'm just going to bring that back to the center. And then I'm going to put a torch to it and let's see what happens. Be careful not to get your flame too close to the paint. You could end up actually scorching the paint, and that's not what you're looking to achieve. You see, one area of the canvas, I want to try to pull the paint down a little more on these two corners right here. Let me just do one more tilt. Try to balance the paint on the edge. Push some of that white over the edge. Not losing too much of the form. And I've lost some. I know some of you are probably saying, no, stop. Too late. And there we go. We have a porcupine fish right in the center right here. And we got our turkey feathers on the outside flaming out around all the edges. If you uh, have any questions, Feel free to contact me, uh, Alan Welch, on the YouTube channel. And uh, look forward to creating some more uh, paintings with gadgets. Um, some people have nicknamed me the Gadget Man. I, I don't think I'm a Gadget Man, uh, but I am willing to try new things. So if you have any ideas, feel free to uh, leave comments for me. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Good night.